What's up everyone? Welcome. What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Obi. Like I said, welcome or welcome back. So you saw the title, you saw the thumbnail. So this is going to be my guide to Bali. Everything that I have been getting asked. I was fortunate enough to be in Bali and live there for three whole months. So I think I know more than most people who just go there and visit for like a week or two weeks or whatever the case may be so if you are interested in knowing what I have to say about Bali and all of my suggestions and tips and tricks and all that stuff keep on watching thankfully I was able to work there I don't know if people really knew that I was like working um, but like first of all I don't go anywhere that I'm not getting paid to go period okay so I was working there actually and I think I learned quite a bit during my time okay so the first thing has to be money let's talk that money let's talk that the narrow travel in Bali can be as expensive or inexpensive as you want it to be I think it is one of those things that people always think like oh it's super super cheap you know everything's cheap everything's cheap yeah but like cheap plus cheap plus cheap adds up to like a bajillion dollars so you do definitely want to be careful about that if you are on a budget but if you're going over there to just blow some money and have a great vacation then don't worry about it go ahead and do you you are able to edit your trip to your different price points that's the good thing about Bali there are um, backpackers who go there and there are other people who are like old and retired and like have hella money and are just living their very best retired lives okay so so the local currency is called the rupia and um so you'll see everything in like thousands that's just the way it works over there everything is in thousands that's just it you can do like the conversion and all that stuff you know on google or there's apps for that kind of thing just know that when you see like a price, even if you only see 30 on the menu, everything is in thousands. Also money related issue, ATMs, okay? So you will most likely have to use an ATM when you go there, okay? ATMs for the most part are okay. However, there is a chance that they will rob you the fuck blind, okay? I got robbed when I went over there I hope that you don't have to go through that same situation because that was a hot mess and a story time for another day. However, in order to prevent that same thing from happening to you, I would definitely um, stick to using ATMs in the city, stick to using ATMs that you see other people using. I think with my situation, it was just a little bit unique because I was somewhere I was in like in a northern part of Bali where foreigners don't really go that often so yeah but like I said that's like a whole long story time but basically stick to using ATMs in the city make sure that you are uh, looking at the card slot if that makes sense if it looks as if it has been tampered with you know what's normal you know what's not normal if you're trying to put your card in and there's like some kind of resistance or whatever like don't keep trying to put it in just find a different ATM there's so many different ATMs you will I do advise you I do advise you to take out the maximum from the ATM especially because most in most cases you will have some kind of foreign transaction fee and therefore it only makes sense to just take out the maximum instead of like paying you know five dollars for every single time you want to take out like a thousand i mean not a thousand a million rupiah it just doesn't make sense um so do expect to like i think it just makes more economical sense to take out the maximum but with that regards because you are or will be carrying quite a large sum of money on you definitely be aware of your surroundings Bali is super duper safe I will say that personally I haven't gotten like mugged you know I would say robbed and mugged they're like I think okay my situation was more of like a scamming than it was a robbing people do get their belongings robbed I have heard of like people snatching stuff off of you know motorbikes or something like that but like going by you on a motorbike and just like snatching your stuff however i mean i didn't really experience anything like that and i didn't see anything like that happening 
but definitely just always be aware of your surroundings especially because you will be carrying that much cash right okay so those are just general ATM things so number two places to visit okay so I think the best place in Bali honestly hands down is Ubud why do I say that Ubud is the best place in Bali to visit I say that because I think Ubud has done an amazing job of keeping the traditional Balinese culture as well as you know mixing in like the tourist flavor okay so you will be able to go there and see like more Balinese culture and just be more in tune with like the locals and stuff like that and it won't seem like such a you know everything is catered to you kind of thing Anyways, let me speak for myself I go places to experience different cultures different people stuff like that and so I felt that in Ubud okay I definitely did feel the local kind of Balinese culture in Ubud the way that Bali is set up it's like a line okay the north of Bali is definitely more village is more rural everything like that Ubud is that halfway point and downwards where um, the south it like cuts you know that's like the demarcation line to the south and that's like basically made for tourists it is the tourist dream it's where all the beaches are everything like that whereas the north is like the more jungle area you know so you can definitely see a clear distinction like I said I was there for three months and I was living in the north actually so I was able to experience a part of Bali that most do not however I understand that not many will have the opportunity or the time to be able to go up north however if you do I definitely 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 do recommend it spend some time up there like there's national parks up there there's uh, waterfalls all that other stuff like we'll get into that later but um, I definitely do not sleep on the north part of Bali like show us some love too because it's late all right so the first place I recommend like I said Ubud the second place that I recommend is definitely Chengu if you are gonna stay down south because Chengu just has like those kind of nice hipstery vibes. I'm not normally into like hipster type things, but uh, Chengu is definitely a place where you can find uh, more Western food and stuff like that. Like that's basically where all of the like expats live. Chengu, Seminyak, Kuta, well, I think more so like Seminyak and Chengu is where you know the expats live and stuff like that people chill out they go to kuta i think it has more of a reputation of like party but those are all places that if it's your first time going then you can definitely feel really really comfortable there because that is just you know it's basically made for you if that made sense um and it's made for your kind of consumption so you definitely feel comfortable there that's basically where you find all of the nice little Instagram spots and everything like that they have a bunch of cafes you know stuff like that okay so the next thing oh okay so Kuta actually in Kuta if you're interested in the partying scene and everything like that there is definitely this place called the sky bar sky room sky bar I forget what it's called now it's been a little bit since I've been there however it's the sky something everybody knows about this place basically what the deal is is that you can go there and get a bunch of drinks it's like unlimited drinks unlimited food it's like a whole buffet for I think it works out to like eight dollars and literally like <laughs> You can go there and get so fucked up. Yeah, so if you're into the party thing, like, definitely go there. They have different rooms, different DJs and everything like that. So, yeah, it's lit. It's pretty lit, honestly, because when room, one room starts playing some trash music, then you just go to another room and they have, like, poles. And it's a lot. It's... I recommend it. If you have someone to go with, do not. I wouldn't recommend, like going out by yourself rather I don't personally do it um, just because you just don't know about people you know what I mean so 
but yeah if you are traveling with other people normally i am by myself so i don't really get to turn up that much unfortunately in these other countries that i travel to but in bali i just happen to be with other people and so it was fun it was a lot a lot of fun and like i said there was a room for everyone there's different you know genres and stuff like that so everyone can have their needs met at the sky whatever it is okay okay so trying new things like different activities and stuff like that if you ever wanted to try surfing or if you ever want to try diving this is the place to try it it is super affordable for sure Chengu is really really good for surfing if you're interested in trying it out unfortunately I didn't try it out however I wish that I did I just you think three months I would have enough time to like try that kind of stuff out but like it, it just didn't happen for me which I mean I guess is cool like I definitely see myself returning to Bali in the future so uh, Bali is just one of those magical places honestly but yeah definitely try out diving or surfing if you are interested in that kind of thing if you wanted to get a tattoo they have this really cool way of doing tattoos I mean I'm not tatted at all you know piercings are more my thing however if you were interested in getting a tattoo it is super cheap there and you know it's like people go there to get tattoos it's normal you know um, they have this way of like doing the tattoo where they like um pound it into your skin basically it's like some kind of like old-fashioned way of doing it but they like pound it into your skin if that makes sense i'm sure i mean tattoos sound like they paint they're painful anyways but if you're interested in like the traditional way of them doing tattoos like you'll see so many guys on the island just like full sleeves like tatted like tatted okay so it's normal they do it it's cool foreigners do it it's whatever um so if you're interested in that you should definitely check it out they also do regular tattoos as well it's not as if everyone's walking around with the bamboo like doo -doo 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 into your arm if you wanted to stuff of elephants you can definitely do that um, in terms of like going to like an elephant sanctuary if you are going to inter interact with the elephant i would say to definitely do your research do your research i mean if you care about that kind of thing if you care about like animal cruelty and stuff like that um definitely do your research okay if you see a place with baskets on the elephant's back that's the one you know way to know that that is not the place that you you know they treat those elephants like crap the baskets definitely hurt the elephants especially like they're not that's not normal you know what i mean like in the wild you don't have a basket on your back so when they strap it down and then you add like a human onto it. it's just it, no that's one of the definite ways to see that like they don't treat the elephants the best if you are interested in riding the elephant uh definitely go to a place that does it bareback so that is without the basket on their back you can look into that kind of stuff for yourself this isn't a video about elephants and riding elephants and what's good and what's not good and stuff like that but definitely do your research to you know make sure that like the elephants yeah you're having a good time but you want to also make sure that the elephants are like being treated decently as well you know another really popular thing to do in bali is to hike the volcanoes i was able to hike the volcano you have to op i mean you have to wake up super duper early like it was early like like the, <laughs> there was no sun there was no anything it was just pitch black you know but I think the sun is starting to go down a little bit but I still have some light I guess but yeah I mean you definitely want to hike the mountain it is um, the volcano sorry it is super challenging but yeah, I don't know. It was just so worth it, like, watching the sunrise and everything like that. Yeah, girl almost didn't make it, but it was super fun, and I would definitely recommend it. The They have two volcanoes, Mount Agung and Mount Bator. I hiked Mount Bator. I think most people also hike Mount Bator as well. 
I don't really know if Mount Agung you can hike it, but maybe there is something like that. But if you're interested in climbing a volcano at like the butt, 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 butt crack of like, there is no crack at that point. It's just like, it's just, it's just dark, okay? <laughs> and then as you start climbing and climbing and climbing, like the sky starts to come alive with like the different colors and everything like that. If that sounds like something that is appealing to you, you can definitely hike a volcano, hike a volcano, because where else are you gonna do that, you know? Why not do it in Bali? Uh, okay, so another thing that you can do are going to the waterfalls, okay? You cannot leave Bali without going to a waterfall, okay? You cannot, you cannot. The best ones are definitely in the north of Bali, like, I went to this super beautiful one, like super beautiful, and it was basically no people there. Like it was, I, it was basically me and like a few other couples, but there was a point in time where I kind of like outweighed them a little bit and <laughs> they like left and it was just me there and it was just beautiful it was just oh my gosh literally one of the most memorable experiences of the entire work experience like my entire like country so nice. experience it was just amazing like amazing bali is just wow okay that waterfall was amazing it's called second pole they have so many other waterfalls like i said uh, if you cannot get all the way up there what you can do is there is a waterfall close to Ubud that I think a lot of people go to however I don't know I've never been there I didn't go to that one because I knew which one I wanted to go to but I just feel like the pictures I've seen are just like eh like it's okay but it wasn't no second pool you know what I'm saying like it's known second pool is known as being the most beautiful like well, I don't know about the most beautiful, but like it's known for its beauty, okay? Like people are like, yo, that one is bad, pretty. Go to that one, okay? So that is pretty much like why I chose to go there. So definitely get in your waterfalls. Get in your waterfalls, okay? Uh, another thing that we can talk about is transportation, okay? Transportation, how do I get around this whole island? Like this island, it can be very, very big, and like the roads and infrastructure and stuff like that it's just not it's just not it it's not it honestly it's not it but the main ways that people get around is are okay so you can either hire a car or you can uh rent a motorbike which you know if you know how to ride one of those then you are good to go honestly i wish i was able to like ride one of those or be brave enough to like try but i was like i'm i'm just not i'm not really ready to like i'm not ready i'm not ready to die <laughs> so <laughs> i was like let me not ride this right now and instead i would like get other people to drive me and i just ride on the back i love doing that that's cool um however like me personally like driving it is like no no, 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 ain't nobody got the time. They don't obey, obey traffic laws over there. Like, it's just totally different rules of the road. Um, and I just didn't feel comfortable doing it, so I didn't do it. So like I said, you can hire a driver, and I believe for a driver, it's probably like $50 a day, 50 US dollars a day. What else? They have different kind of apps. I know that you can use Uber. However, it is very looked down upon. Um, so it's not that common to use it. You can use Gojek. Gojek is like their Uber, like specifically for Indonesia. Um, and it is going to be way, way, way cheaper. However, similar to Uber, like, it depends on the area that you're in if you do go up north you will not be able to find anything like that so don't even try it because i mean the farther up north you go the more isolated it is so like the 
the probability of there being a gold check up there is going to be very 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 slim okay very slim like extremely slim you're not gonna find that okay so what you want to do is um, use the Gojek app if you are going to be in places like Chengu or Seminyak. Seminyak especially, uh, Kuta also especially, you can definitely use the app there um, and it works beautifully. I had no issues uh, using it while I was down there at all, like at all. <laughs> like absolutely no issues whatsoever. However, in Ubud, I did run into some trouble. Drivers would message me and basically be like, oh, can you, let's say the app quotes me, let's say they say to go from here to here, it's only going to be 10,000. So I'm like, okay, bet, because I bet you, if you, you know, get a regular taxi on the road, they're gonna tell you that same 10,000 ride is going to turn into like 100,000, I promise you. So, they would message me though the drivers on the app would be like oh actually is can you do 100,000 basically trying to charge me like street prices and i'm like no the app says 10,000 and they're just like you know it's like a one going back and forth kind of thing and finally i would just end up like canceling or they would end up canceling it just never worked for me in ubud because they always try to ask for more money and I just feel like that's kind of dishonest. However though, I do, um, when I did use it in Seminyak and stuff like that, then I did always pay the driver more just because I felt like, and that was on me, like they didn't ask for any money extra. I gave them the, money, the extra money because I just felt like the price that they were getting paid was very, it was very low, you know what I mean? So I, gave it to them. The cheapest one that you can get on the Gold Check app would be the motorbike and that's what I would normally use. And then like I said, I would pay them a little bit extra or you can get a car. When I had to go to the, the airport from Seminyak, then I, I um, ordered a car so I would have space for like my big ass suitcase and stuff like that. I ordered the car and I also did give him something extra as well. So, I mean, it's up to you on like how you want to get around, but just know if you do go the private driver route, um, I would suggest to have other people with you just so you can split the cost because it can get very, very, very pricey, okay? It can get pricey very quickly. Shopping. What places have the best shopping? I would say that if you need to go shopping, one of the best places to go would be Kuta, okay? If you cannot go to Kuta, then definitely um go to Ubud I think those are like the two common places I went shopping in Ubud and I also went shopping in Kuta I didn't really make a video about my Koopa ex Koopa Kuta experience however I did make a video about my Ubud shopping experience and what I bought and different tips and tricks and everything like that so definitely go check that out if you haven't seen it yet or if you're interested in knowing what kinds of things you can buy in Bali so yeah I definitely um, would suggest either Ubud or Kuta for cheap shopping that is not too unreasonable if you try to go shopping in Seminyak if you try to go shopping in Chengu forget about it like the bikinis are going to be super nice it's like western style quality however it is going to be very very expensive okay like ridiculously expensive like your million is going to disappear like you, you're gonna take out a million from the ATM and it's gonna be gone okay if you try to buy stuff in Chengu or Seminyak like don't even even with haggling and stuff like that it's just the prices are just way more why because it's definitely a more western type experience you know so that's that food let's talk food because you know what is travel without food like nothing that's what it is okay so i think that the best way to experience different countries is to eat their local food okay try to eat local like one is going to be way cheaper like it's gonna be way cheaper 
<laughs> to eat local food than it would be to like order something foreign because it's just not from there so they have to like import stuff and to make it and it's just you can eat that at home like you can eat that at home you don't need to eat it when you're abroad you know however though i'm not judging you if you do want to eat your avocado toast or whatever whatever and get a little fancy burger and what's that thing called the smoothie bowl and stuff like that we all like go on social media like we see what's popping or whatever in the pictures and everything and i mean bali has some amazing amazing uh fresh and delicious food for sure so i understand why you would want to kind of eat that kind of stuff so um, like I said, eat local, at least try it out. For example, uh, nasi goreng is super, you know, everyone eats that kind of stuff. Mi goreng, nasi goreng. Nasi goreng is basically fried rice. Mi goreng is uh, fried noodles and you can add chicken or you can have it vegetarian or whatever it is that you want. It is really, really good. Yeah, you'll definitely see shirts. You know how you'll see like, I love New York shirts. You can definitely see I love nasi goreng shirts in Bali for sure. It's just the thing to try, so you should try it if you can. What else? Bali is also really, really good for people that have dietary restrictions, okay? So if you have dietary restrictions and you can't really, you know, eat certain stuff, like for example, um, if you are gluten-free, if you are vegan, things like that, don't worry. I'm not so sure about dairy. Possibly dairy can be okay as well. But for sure, for sure, if you are vegan, you will not have any issues eating food in Bali, okay? They have something for you. Uh, there's so many vegan restaurants in Ubud. There's so many vegan restaurants for sure, for sure, in Semenyak and Chenggu. Um, a really popular one is Kind Community. I went there, so everything is just so cute. I love that place. They have so many different things, like so many different things. It's actually insane, but they are all like vegan. Sorry, this sign is going down. Like it's, it's, it's going down. Okay, that's a, that's a little bit better. We're back. Um, but yeah, Kind Community is definitely one of those places that is super insta famous and for good reason. Like the food is vegan. I'm not even vegan. Like I love me some animal products. Okay. <laughs> kind Community is bomb. I'm not even going to lie. Like, so the food, even if it's vegan, is going to taste really, really good for sure. Don't even worry about it. Don't trip about any kind of dietary restrictions. Like, Bali got you. They got you, okay? The next thing that I am going to talk about is going to a spa. Have a spa day. Chill. Relax. Have a spa day, okay? So, the spa that I went to is called Carsa Spa. It's super famous online, on Instagram. When I say online, I mean Instagram. And that is where I had my flower bath. That's the picture in the thumbnail is the flower bath. Oh my gosh, it was such a luxurious experience. Like, it's actually crazy. My skin felt so soft. It just felt like I was a brand new human, yo. After I got out of that bath, I don't know, like what really i don't know like if it's the flower the oils in the flower petals or whatever it is but you just come out feeling brand new like you cannot talk to me anyhow okay you can't talk to me crazy talk to me nice or not at all period you know what i'm saying don't talk to me anyhow because listen I just got on my flower bath, okay? <laughs> so that flower bath is gonna have you feeling new fresh rejuvenated it's gonna have you on a whole different different planet okay now while the flower bath is super popular at carsa i would also recommend to get a massage or um the body scrub i don't really like people touching me like that so i didn't get the massage however the body scrub i got and it was so nice i was like sis uh, do it again 
didn't do it again. <laughs> it was so good. Like, I don't know. I was like, oh, this is, <laughs> you gonna call me later? <laughs> It was so nice like it was just amazing the whole thing from the beginning to the end was super duper nice and they are super accommodating don't be like me and get there hella late but I was having some car trouble and basically I ended up getting there late however I let them know and they I thought that they would be like oh well you can't come anymore because you are I was like an hour late dude I was like an hour late okay and they still kept my appointment they were like yeah don't worry about it just come and yeah so what you need to do is go on their website and um, message them via whatsapp and get a uh an appointment there and i definitely recommend it i think that it is cheaper than those other places like you'll see a bunch of different spas like the udaya is also one of those places that's really popping on the gram and they have those really big and intricate flower baths however i felt like carissa was um super nice and it was a very affordable price point okay that is i think one of the biggest and best things about the whole thing that it was super cheap it was cheap okay for my body scrub and my flower bath it was like 12 dollars, bro i kid you not 12 dollars. where are you gonna get treated that nicely okay have such an uh, extravagant experience for $12, $12. Like, are you kidding me? $12? I need to go back there because that was, I'm thinking about it right now and I'm like, I need to get on a plane and zoom on over there because that was, yo, it was $12, $12, 12, one, two. One, two. Let that sink in for a second. Just just let it marinate. $12. Okay? So go over there and get you an appointment because everybody deserves to be pampered. Everybody, period. That's it. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to talk about before... This video is already super long. Um, <laughs> sorry in advance. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to talk about is country hopping okay so i mean if you fly all the way especially if you're coming from the u.s i would definitely recommend trying to work in another country if you can that you've wanted to go to i mean um there's so many beautiful places to travel in southeast asia and everything is super close and super affordable okay so i would definitely recommend um going to uh, a different country you know a lot of people definitely go from Bali to Singapore or Bali to Australia a lot of Australians come over to Bali for like vacation purposes and stuff like that there are some expats there but for a lot of times like people come there like as spring break or whatever the case may be I would also say can you go from Bali you can go to Malaysia there's just so many different places so I definitely would recommend instead of coming all the way over here to Indonesia, I'm saying as if I'm in Bali right now, all the way over to this side of the world. Currently, I'm in Shanghai, but instead of coming all the way over to this side of the world, excuse me, and then going all the way back over to that, like, you know, you might as well, if you can fit it into your schedule, stop it off at a different place and yeah experience like the good times over there like i definitely definitely recommend people seeing the world young people seeing the world old people everyone travel is for everyone i will say that your experiences in different places and different countries and all that stuff that's another story however i do think that travel should be for everyone and that it can be for everyone so for sure if you can why not extend your trip a little bit and you know see what it is to see do what it is to do like see the world like do things that are that you want to do you know what i'm saying so yeah hopefully this video was as comprehensive as i think it is if you have any questions if i missed anything for sure leave me a question down below and i would gladly help and if you made it all the way this far like kudos to you you are the real mvp 
P, okay? Make sure though that you hit that subscribe button for more videos if you're interested in seeing more videos from me like and what I have to say and more tips and tricks and travel and hair. Okay, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.